breaking from Florida. Mass killing terror attack at major event. The Pittsburgh Steelers and Jacksonville Jaguars are set to kick off their AFC Divisional Round Playoff Contest on Sunday as planned in spite of the sinister terroristic threats made prior to the game against fans and players. The game is said to be one of the NFL's most visible and highly anticipated games, with either the Steelers or the Jacksonville Jaguars advancing to next week's AFC Championship game in New England. A San Antonio man has been arrested for threatening a mass shooting at Sunday's NFL playoff game between Florida and Pennsylvania teams, the Jacksonville Jaguars and Pittsburgh Steelers. According to the arrest affidavit, federal authorities state 30-year-old Yadana Chuchong Kal made multiple threats to kill NFL players and fans, along with himself during the Sunday night playoff game in Pittsburgh. Local CBS News affiliate KDKA-TV in Pittsburgh received a sinister and threatening statement from Chu Chong Kao that stated Dash, This Sunday's playoff game in Pittsburgh is going to be like no other. Why? Because it's going to be my last day on this pathetic planet. So why not take some innocent lives with me? The Steelers game will be packed, and that's when I plan on killing Steelers football players and fans before taking my own pitiful life. After all, what does a person that is going to commit suicide have to lose? Absolutely nothing. So why not take out some million-dollar Steelers players before me? Sounds like a good idea. Ha 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 ha. On the very same day, the director of security for Heinz Field, the scheduled location of the game received a similar sinister statement from Chu Chunko. The threat was uploaded to Heinzfield.com with the same username and IP address as the original threat sent to KDKA. Officials from both KDKA and Heinzfield sent the IP address and username to the FBI in an attempt to trace the threat back to its source. Federal authorities were able to trace it back to a medical trial business in San Antonio known as Worldwide Clinical Trials. Security video showed Chu Chunkal using the computers at the same time that the threats were sent. Chu Chunkal himself confirmed using the computers at these very same times. He was arrested and charged with making a terroristic threat to the public. He was released from jail on Saturday. Worldwide Clinical Trials reports Chu Chunkal has been a medical trial subject with the company 25 times since 2011. On its Facebook page, the company describes itself as advancing clinical research since 1984 inches and adds, healthy adults have come to our facilities to participate in both overnight and outpatient clinical research studies to test new drugs for safety and effectiveness before they go to market. Many people participate because they want to help advance medical science, however, qualified participants are compensated for the time they spend in the study, as well as travel time. The majority of clinical research services participants are repeat visitors. They find it's an ideal time to relax, read a book or watch a movie minus and get paid for doing it. The friendly staff and comfortable facilities keep them returning time and time again. Participants also enjoy meeting new people and creating lasting friendships. The Steelers express their appreciation for how law enforcement officials handled Chudenkow's threats through an official statement made by way of Pittsburgh Steelers spokesman Bert Loudon, stating, The Heinz Field website received a threat concerning the playoff game versus Jacksonville. We take all threats seriously and turned over information to the FBI and the city of Pittsburgh police. We are thankful law enforcement was able to identify and track down the individual to make an arrest. We appreciate the hard work and attention that our law enforcement provides to our communities. Chu Chonkal has been arrested in Texas and charged with at least one felony charge of making a terroristic threat. Other charges could be pending for federal and local authorities. If convicted, the current charge carries a maximum penalty of up to 10 years in prison as a third-degree felony. Pittsburgh Mayor Bill Peduto thanked the FBI and Pittsburgh police Saturday night for their part in making sure everyone would be safe during the game Sunday. Peduto stated via Twitter, Thank you at Pittsburgh and at PGH Police on your coordinated efforts. Although much of your work go unnoticed or protected, your continuous service to protect is constantly appreciated. Some local residents were not having Peduto's politically correct response, however, and quickly called him on the carpet for his anti-Trump, 
anti-American, pro-sanctuary city policies. One Twitter user going simply by Don stated, Your fault you allow this city to be a sanctuary city. Better yet let the at real Donald Trump know how you backstabbed Pittsburgher voters. Stop the lies tell us the truth. Many are speculating as to whether Chu Chong Kal is a refugee or immigrant or illegal alien as some mainstream media sources made this matter an issue of immigration, racism, and objections over the Take the Knee protests. They attempted to label Chu Chong Kal as a white male citing statistics on the likelihood of serial killers and mass shooters being white males. Yet as many were quick to point out Chu Chong Kal appears to be of Asian descent, and not white at all, white at all.